And I'm here with Wholesale Septic. We're going to talk about additives and why we don't sell additives uh, in any form, any kind. Uh, they don't work. Okay. So this stuff here, this is not just Ridex, okay, but most, most additives for septic are just a, a bunch of hooey, a bunch of snake oil. So uh, there's some for field lines and even that. I mean, well, it's going to kill the roots. Well, the roots aren't touching oxygen, so the roots are still going to be in your field lines. If they're in there, they're in there. How are you going to get them out? Um, <clears throat> this stuff says uh, patented bacteria, which is interesting to begin with. So I don't know how you patent it, uh, bacteria. I mean, they didn't create anything. They didn't create a new bacteria. Uh, <laughs> bacteria is just there. You know, there's thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of different forms of it. So uh, patented bacteria works continuously to help prevent septic backups. I got two asterisks there. That's real interesting. So we got a number one brand, two asterisks there. Well, uh, you go back here, and a scientifically, scientifically proven to help prevent septic backups, another asterisk. And you read all this stuff, use monthly, Riddix helps prevent, you know, expensive septic disaster, helps keep your septic operating efficiently. Look, th these aren't fluffy white rabbits. They don't live for a month. They don't live, you know, th that's just not how they work. So, um, you know, the whole premise is they don't even know what they're talking about. But most people just don't know. They don't want to know. And I don't blame them. But uh, if you go down here, those asterisks, along with occasional pumping, is that right? I mean, who would have thought that? Eh, based on national sales. Okay, based on national sales. Um, you know, they're just covering their st you know self if they say, uh, you know, number one brand uh, based on national sales. Not based on if it performs or anything like that they're just so they're telling you that um but along with occasional pumping that's just phenomenal well why don't you say anything about the pumping you just talk about the product so any system will work with occasional pumping and what does occasional mean i mean that's real vague so it's vague because <coughs> i'm not going to give an answer and tell you well if you do this and you do that it's, it's going to work I and mean, that's a liability thing so that is leave it real vague occasional pumping uh was occasional pumping during done during this test uh to to figure that out uh, we don't know they don't they don't say anything i mean they got a phone number here uh maybe we'll call them and find out um so uh another thing is that we know this doesn't work uh septic additives in general not just ridex there there's been a lot of university studies done okay there's three of them out there well, well not a lot there's there's three of them uh, some of them are really recent. One was done in Australia. One was, I think, Purdue did one. And there's another university that did that. And what they did is they took a bunch of tanks. Some of them were clean. Some of them uh, two years. Some of them five years. Some of them uh, ten years. They used additives, all kinds of different ones. All right? And then they tested the sludge levels. And they tested the tanks to see if any of the additives worked. And guess what? None of them worked. Okay? Not one. There was no uh, difference in... Uh, systems that weren't used additives and systems that uh, did use additives and that's not surprising so uh, you know they sell this stuff and you, you pay for it if you just save the money you spent on this every month in a year to a year nine months you'll have enough to pump your whole system out so and, and if you have three people in your house four people in your house you shouldn't have to pump your system okay on a big system 1500 gallon tank or you know two 500 gallon tanks uh, but once every uh, two, three years. So you're actually going to save money. Uh, this isn't going to save you any money. You're still going to have to pump your system. There's no difference in the sludge level. So because you have all those universities that say that, they can say whatever. You know, oh, you can't say that about our product, this and that. I, there's, there's studies to prove that, that it doesn't work. I mean, you drag people in from engineering firms uh, to give a lecture on it and... Uh, uh, and that would be Corolla, CH2M, firms like that. They have PhDs, doctors, all these people working on better ways to treat wastewater. And, and they would laugh if you ask them. They do laugh because I have asked them. Does, does, does septic additives work? Does stuff like Ridex work? No. I mean, they'll break you down how the bacteria work, all these things. So uh, save your money. Don't buy septic additives. Uh, just have your system pumped. You're not doing yourselves any favor by buying this, okay? All the bacteria you need in your body, 
the bacteria are cannibalistic. I mean, if you want to get deeper into it, they actually eat each other. So when food goes in there, they propagate at an amazing pace, okay, within hours. And then as that food is eaten and it goes away, they then eat each other, okay? So there's always a balance in there. By just adding more bacteria, basically you just... <laughs> Whatever's in there is going to eat this stuff, okay? Within hours, uh, you just wasted $20. Basically, you just poured it down the toilet, basically. So, uh, don't buy septic additives. Just save your money. Pump your system on a regular basis, okay? And I'm not saying you have to do it every year and a half. Every three years, you, you should be safe. Your system should work a long, long time. You know, the people that say, oh, I didn't pump my system. I've done it for 20 years. You're the exception. You're not the rule, okay? I've pumped septic tanks for 20 years. Okay, and um, <clears throat> when you hear that, uh, you almost cringe because when you normally when you open them up, they're just gut full of solids. Okay, it, it, sometimes they're not, and it's really weird why it's not. But I would say two percent of the time that's the case. Those are the people that call back and say, "My system needs pumping again six months later because solids have went to their field lines, ruined it because they're so full." Okay, the tank was so full of solids that that the field lines are now ruined because those solids now transferred into their field lines. The little holes that get rid of the water are plugged up and the system no longer works. So save your money, pump your systems. This doesn't work. No additives work. Okay. They do not work. It's not something that works. Uh, it, it's been proven by multiple university studies. Don't use it. Save your money. That's it. So hope you guys have a good day. That's why we don't sell additives for any type of system. Uh, if you want to talk about this, anything like that, I can uh, you know, point you into the university studies. I can explain it in further detail if you really want me to. Uh, I can tell you about the four different bacteria in our body, which ones are more prevalent, which ones really propagate in systems, uh, th things like that. So save your money, get yourself pumped out more often, uh, and don't buy this, and that's it. All right? So no additives, regular maintenance, pumping. And got to love that. Along with occasional pumping. I wonder how many people have read that and then asked questions. Okay, bye-bye.